um, our second run at working on, back up, good job. Um, our second run of working on our collar work. And let me set you guys up so you can see what's going on. I like it when dogs are happy and comfortable getting dressed with their collar and leash. I want to make sure they don't avoid it. I want to make sure they don't get super mouthy when they go to, when I show them the collar. I don't want them to be mouthing my hands and saying, slow down. I really want to know that if I pick up the collar, well, that's interesting. <laughs> I really want to know that if I pick up the collar, they're either just hanging out, so it is very easy for me to just be like, hey, can we put our nose in the collar? Yes, we can. She put her nose in the collar and pushed it goes just the last little bit over. Um, that's, a, that's a great place to start. If you guys are struggling like this, I just want you to know that there's a couple other ways to do it, and I'm just going to talk about them briefly for two seconds. Can you lay down, please? Um, one of the ways to do it would be to go, go back to your relax on mat, getting them settled, and then starting to go back and reintroduce, hey, if I pick this up, I love the fact that you're calm and you can stay right here. Option two and three are to either work on a chin rest so that your dog can tell you they're ready to start doing more. And that would be um, your dog puts his chin in your hands, yay, and that they're telling you you could then clip a buckle collar up behind them or clip on their harness or unclip the harness. They're the ones that say, hey, when I do this, you're allowed to reach over and touch me. You're allowed to reach over and do things for me. And then we can mark that moment and feed them either, continue to feed them in your hands where they put their chin, or we can feed them off of the hands. This is a skill that takes a little bit of training, but it's a really nice way for a dog to start telling us that they're ready for us to look at T. She said, um, that was weird, baby. Yeah, that was very weird. Can I look at your teeth? Okay. Then I'll feed her over here, or maybe we're doing something slightly more intrusive, like we are looking at their ears. Um, if she puts her head in my ear, in my hand, then I know I'm allowed to look in her ears. If she took her head off, I would stop looking in her ears. I would stop trying to clean, clean her ears. And the last one is to just kind of introduce a bucket game. And again, we're kind of speeding through this because I just want you to know there's a bunch of different ways to work through dogs telling us that they're ready to start doing something. So in this scenario, all she has to do is just lay here and I'm just going to be like, oh my gosh, that's super fantastic. As long as you lay here, good things keep happening. But I know I can introduce the collar and I can start putting it on her or clipping the leash on. Now let's do this two parts. Well, we know we got the leash on. That was super easy. And then can I, or the collar on, and then can we introduce the leash? She saw it. She's much more comfortable just staring at the bowl, asking for more food. That's fantastic. She's not being a nudgy jerk. So now can I start reaching towards her? She's still laying down. I think that's amazing. That was just what I wanted. Now can I start to put the two together, the leash to the collar? She's laying down, still super happy. You're just the best girls. And then the last thing I would do would be to clip it. The fact that she's so chill and calm about this is a bonus. It's one of the things that we accidentally ended up teaching and was a lot of nice off switch for my dogs when we're doing bucket games or chin rest. And I love that. I, I love that. Because you actually were... <laughs> so if they get up, we just say, go get it. And we send them off with a kick and we end the game. All done. She's like, I don't want to do it anymore. I'm bored hanging out here. So I'm just making that choice just to end the game. All done. And notice she still got treats even though she got up because what's that going to do for me next time? She's going to come back faster to get the rewards. So if you are struggling to be able to collar your dog up or leash your dog up or put a harness on them or clean your ears, talk to your trainer because those three games, relax on that, chin rest and bucket game, are great ways for your dog to say, hey, I'm ready for you to do something a little bit harder with me. Here's nothing else in here. It's all empty. It's all done. Oh my gosh, it's so sad. The training is over. Okay, all right. We'll do some more dedicated videos around those three things in a little bit. Good job. You make things look easy, don't you? Yeah, drama queen, um, 
used to yell a lot, drama queen, that's Ladybug. She used to yell a lot. She used to mouth my hands when I bathed her or I did her nails or I cleaned her ears or anything. She didn't, she did not have a good experience with a puppy. Maybe once being handled, we bathed her too quickly and she was like, never again, nobody's ever gonna bathe me again. And so it took us maybe a couple months. She totally stands calm and chill in the shower now. She doesn't even eat the treats in the shower anymore when we bathe her. She's just like, cool, I can hang out here. Great, we're done, we're done. She gets out, gets dried off, she loves it. Um, it's a really nice way to introduce a lot of things that we would call cooperative care, handling, husbandry, grooming, um, being able to go to the vet and being more comfortable with our dogs um, being handled at the vet's office. This all falls under this chin rest bucket game. Um, getting dogs to start offering a behavior to say they can control when something happens to them and they can also take a break and walk away.